Hey YouTube Universe, thank you for stopping by here at Comic Grandma. This is going to be a contest entry video for my good friend at Bad English Rex. And he teamed up with um, Gus69 to bring this uh, pretty cool contest that uh, the way I understand it, it's um, inspired by the 300 uh, film, uh, which is actually based on this comic by Frank Miller. Um, pretty gory gory art here um a pretty gory art story as well um but it did win um if you're familiar with comics and, and comic artists it did win the will eisner award um so definitely worth checking out and the film was pretty pretty good as well um, from what i remember I, I did city once when it came out um so mr finglish and um, Gus are having this contest going on and I'm gonna go ahead and answer the questions that they've given us um, The first um, question was to show an album that shows an epic battle or that has a, a bloody album cover so I uh, Thought about this album. This is um, Holy Blood uh, Voice of Blood is the name of the album Here's the back cover more epic battle scenes here in the background um and this, this is solid solid album here um the type of genre this is this is your um, folk metal is what they call it um really 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 nice um definitely i've been really enjoying the holy blood albums that they've put out um so check them out i'll try to put snippets of some of the songs on here um if i can if i can get away with it um if not you know I'll, maybe i'll drop some links um go and make sure you head and check these bands out okay then there was another question um interesting question that gus um wanted us to answer and one of them was to show a song or an album that has um that's related to Greek mythology or some some kind of ancient traditions. Um, so I thought about um, a couple of albums, um, but then I remember this, uh, my favorite band, one of my favorite bands, um, actually wearing their t-shirt today. Um, so the band Thrice. Um, back in 2003, um, they signed to a major label and they put out this album the artist in the ambulance um phenomenal phenomenal album um just like everything they put out um but this is one of those albums that definitely they changed their sound i'm not sure because uh it is possibly because they were on the major label um this is the original album cover i have this cd uh, slipcase edition that has um each song lyric is on the back uh, it's pretty cool so you can kind of change the album cover as um, as you go so, it's a pretty pretty cool uh, concept I don't think I've ever seen something like this before where you have the lyrics for each song and um, the song that uh, is related to Greek mythology off of this one is um, it's gonna go with this al album cover. And the song is called The Mel Melting Point of Wax. The Melting Point of Wax. And what The Melting Point of Wax is, it is um, in reality, um, kind of like a metaphor of of a teenager who's trying to find maybe some freedom from um, you know, teenagers want their freedom from their parents, stuff like that. Um, anyways, the song is based on kind of like the perspective of Icarus. If you guys are familiar with the myth of Icarus. So that song is telling um, a song, a story through the, um, through the eyes and through the feet of um, Icarus. Uh, definitely, definitely... Um, Interesting. Dustin Kensru really does a great job with the lyrics um, in this band. Always different layers to all their song lyrics. Um, so that was in 2003. 
Um, fast forward a few years, uh, 2007, they came up with um, this concept and they released uh, this double, um, double, double albums. So it's two volumes and each one, uh, each of the volumes has two CDs. Um, a lot of, a lot of thought went into, the, um, into this album as well. But the song I want to point out in this, uh, from this volumes is from volume three of the album Alchemy Index. Is volume three, the song Daedalus. And if you're familiar with Daedalus, um, now it's part of the same myth of Icarus, but Daedalus is kind of like the story. Now the song is telling the perspective of the father. So the song is through the perspective of the father in this one. Um, so that's how it's related to uh, Greek, um, Greek mythology. And uh, around that time, I believe Dustin Kensru had just had a daughter. And um, so it's pretty cool to kind of see that um, when he became a father, he wrote this song through this perspective of a father um, that was influenced by this Greek myth. So awesome, pretty cool concept there. Um, and then there was a question that asked about show an album that is about strength and um, or power over weakness or that can show weakness as well a song or an album and the first thing that came to my mind was uh this great album and this great film this is i think one of the last films i've actually watched i watched uh chariots of fire this year and i've watched so um the movie from pixar that came out this year um there's another movie that came, came out um, I used to really be really into movies. I haven't uh, really, really watched movies in the last year or so. I have not been motivated. Don't have that uh, mental capacity to sit down and watch a movie for a great amount of time. Um, but this is one that I have um, really wanted to watch for a long time. And I love this album. And uh, if you know the story, this is um, definitely about strength definitely about power over weakness it's about having strength um, not only physical strength but also having um, strength in your faith um, so definitely a great a great movie if you haven't watched this in a very long time um, go ahead and try it out and uh, uh, be encouraged be energized because I know I was when I watched this movie so it's uh, this type of movies I I believe it's they're really good to watch every now and then to um, kind of encourage you and keep a positive mind state. And um, if you're like me, I used to be a runner um, and I used to run almost every day. And obviously, if you look at me, I haven't run, um, I haven't ran in a very long time. Um, so definitely after watching this movie, I really um, thought about those great moments uh, that were really great when um, I was a runner and um, trying to get back into shape so definitely wanted to show that one to um, share with everyone and I was able to grab find a few copies so if anybody needs a copy let me know I'll send you one um, you know how to contact me and then the one of the last questions was to show something that's um, comic related an album that's comic related and uh, the first thing that I thought about was showing this other album but uh, I'm gonna show this other album it's one of my holy grails in my collection I was able to find this at a thrift shop of all places for a perfect price I have been wanting this record for a very long time and the problem I ran into is that all the places or persons or people who were selling this album were all overseas or in a different country and you know how it is when you want to buy something from the country the shipping is really expensive plus sometimes um, 
you know, you may pay for the item and you don't know if you're gonna ever receive it. Um, but this album is, is one of my holy grails and I was so happy to find it at, at a thrift shop. Um, and this person has been really, really important in my life. Um, been, they've been important in my childhood. It's actually, um, I guess you can say a whole cast. This is called um, La Vecindad del Chavo. This was a show uh, when I was younger that ran uh, for many years. And when I was growing up, I watched the reruns of this show that ran for many years. And how is it comic related? Well, the creator, which is this guy right here, uh, Roberto Bolaños Gomez, um, he was such a genius. Um, a lot of people called him the Mexican um, Charlie Chaplin. He created all the characters. He uh, wrote books. He wrote all the scripts to the show. Um, they developed music and songs, um, which that's why they released this record. They, re they released several albums. And he also uh, did some comics. So he was also an artist and um, in all aspects of the word. This guy was a genius. I was so saddened when he passed away a few years ago. Um, anyways, this is, this is the show. The show was called El Chavo del Ocho and within it, they had so many um, characters and uh, kind of like mini shows within the show. Um, on the back here, you can, hear, you can see um, his comic strips that he drew of the characters in the show. So that's one way they're comic related and his comedy is all based on his comic uh, self. Definitely a great, great, um, great inspiration for anyone. What I really loved about him is that um, you know, there's different types of comedy, but his comedy was that, you know, that safe, family-friendly um, comedy. Uh, not, not that vulgar, um, you, know, the, you know, the other type of comedy I'm talking about. So, definitely, this was an album that I needed to have, and finally, it's in my possession. It's my, one of my holy grails. I'm really happy to have it. Um, and now, I, we actually stream it with my son. Uh, he actually likes a few songs off this other album that they released. Um, I think those are all the questions I covered. I encourage you guys to go ahead and jump on this contest. There's about, at the time of this video, there's about two more days left. So hopefully you guys can jump on this um, and join uh, Bad English Rex and Gus69. Um, I'll drop the link to their channel so you can subscribe if you're not able um, to jump on the contest hope everyone's been doing well god bless you guys be safe be healthy be in peace with yourself be in peace with others and everyone around you and i'll see you on the next one god bless